Hi guys, it's Trin again. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make the famous egg rolls. So everyone has been asking me about this recipe and today I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So we have here all the ingredients that will go into the egg roll. First I have two pounds of ground turkey. You can use um, chicken breast if you like, but I like turkey since it's a little bit healthier. And I have two pounds of ground pork. I do ground pork and ground turkey to balance out the dryness because if you just use the ground turkey or ground chicken, sometimes it becomes dry. So here I have a pound of taro already shredded or cut into little pieces like this. And here I have the bean vermicelli noodles. This has been soaked in hot water for 20 minutes and I use 10 of these bundles in here and the package looks like this. And I have it all at any AE market. And then I have here a package of the Vietnamese fried spring roll wrappers. And this is just the regular wrappers. And this is my seasoning that's gonna go in. This is two teaspoons of salt. This is two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of black pepper, one cup of the chicken powder seasoning. This is half a cup of fish sauce. I have green onions or scallions already cut up and two eggs, but the eggs doesn't go into the uh, Filling, it just actually, you use this later to seal up your egg rolls when you roll it. Okay, so I also have two pounds of carrots already shredded, or actually I use the food, food processor to uh, process this. So it's kind of finely chopped. All right, so everything's gonna go in here. I have my carrots, <clears throat> my noodles, My taro, so with all of this, we're going to make about a hundred egg rolls. So if you guys have a smaller family or you guys just want to make less, you just divide it in half or fourth with the same amount of ingredients. everything in here. Black pepper. Salt. <clears throat> and then the sugar. So I have all my ingredients in this big bowl. What you do is just want to go ahead and mix it all up really well. like that and just do this until it's everything is combined evenly and perfectly So now all the ingredients have been mixed in here. And now what I'll do is I'll just take a little piece like this and I'm gonna cook it real quick. The reason why I'm gonna cook it is so I can taste it because this meat is raw and you're not able to taste it to see if the season, if you need more or add anything else. So here we are. We have a little pan with some oil ready. So I'm just gonna put it in there. You don't need a big piece, just big enough so you can taste it.
Okay, so the meat is cooked now. I'm just going to go ahead and taste it to see if it needs anything else. Mmm, that's perfect. So you don't need to add anything else. All right, now we go ahead and roll the egg rolls. Are you guys ready to roll it? All right, let's go. Okay, so now we're ready to roll the egg rolls and remember the eggs. Now we're gonna use it. We're gonna crack it open like that. And then we're just gonna mix the eggs up really well like this. Okay, and now I have the egg rolls wrappers here and you just peel it one by one. Oh, that one just tore, so you can toss that. It's a good one right here. That. So, so you just scoop the filling like that. You don't want it too much because the egg roll would be too big and you don't want too little. The egg roll too small. So I'll put that much and just push it back and then you fold this in, you fold this other side and you just roll it like that. Very easy. And now you put the egg here. That will help seal the egg roll. And there you have perfect egg roll. Place it in there. Now you just roll another one and continue doing this until all the filling is gone. So we just finished rolling all of the egg rolls. If the regular kind, the package this. Now we're gonna move on to this kind of um, wrappers. So it's the Vietnamese one. With this, it's dry. So what what you have to do is you have to soak this in the wa hot water. So I have a container of hot water here. You just kind of gently soaked it, submerged the whole wrapper in there, and then you take it out and let it dry a little bit, like that. And then you do another one. I normally do two at a time, so when I roll one, the other one is drying. And by the time you finish rolling that one, you have the other one ready for you to roll. And now you don't need the eggs anymore, so you can put this away. All right, so see how quick that dry? Now it's ready. Just lay it out and then you just put the filling like the other and just roll it push it back all the side and this side and just roll it straight just like that okay there you have it put it in there I'm gonna do another one Sometimes it's hard to handle this thing because it's a little bit sticky. And you just push it back, get it really tight. And then you fold this side, this side, and then just roll it straight. There we go. There's the other roll. Okay. Okay, so all the egg rolls has been rolled. Now we're gonna go ahead and fry it. So we're gonna take this and go fry them. Now we're ready to fry these egg rolls. Okay, so I have a pot of hot oil right here ready. You can use any kind of oil, peanut oil, 
That's what I recommend best because it gives you the best crunch. So you're just gonna go ahead and drop it in here, like that, one by one. And you wanna keep your temperature as a low medium because you want it to evenly cook the egg roll because it get burned really fast from the outside if you don't turn down your temperature and then the outside might be cooked but the inside could be raw Okay, so the egg roll has been cooked for about 30 minutes now, and it's ready. See, you can tell where the color is cooked, so you just take it out and put it in a pot or a plate with some paper towel to soak up some of the excess oil, like that. Take it all out. Okay, so the egg rolls are done. I just took them out of the oil here they are finished product you guys enjoy these and don't forget to subscribe like and comment below just tell me what you would like me to make and i will make it